I would like to talk a little bit about what kind of opportunities you can get and careers you can follow in data analytics. So I will just give you start with an example. One of my friends, uh, classmates, who uh, is um, head of um, Johnson and Johnson's division in Singapore, one of the divisions. He liked the book and he read the book and he liked. He said before I knew two chapters were over, so he liked it and he told his son about it. Son was thinking about this career. He looked looked at the book and he liked it so much that he pursued career further careers and now he actually himself works for the same company in Canada now. So in other words. Um, the, the opportunities are many, but also how you get into the field, both are important, right? The ramp up and then where the field is. And the field is uh, very, very exciting. Uh, in Harvard Business Review, they've called it the sexiest job of the decade, uh, which means that that means not only just well paying, but it's also very exciting. There's so much action happening. And why the action is happening is because there's so much data. Uh, occurring. So data analytics goes hand in hand with big, uh, big data. So this whole field is called data science. Data science is the field around working from the entire uh, from the entire life cycle of um, data generation to data visualization and data consumption. So there's opportunities all across the fields. Uh, there are jobs like data scientists, and you know, data engineer. Uh, you can have data uh, quality expert, data storage expert, data warehousing specialist, a business intelligence specialist. Uh, data mining specialist, so variety of roles are there. You can be a tech specialist who works on the tools that allow you to um, slice and dice the data. You can be a business analyst who works on understanding the business problem and try to solve it. So big data and data analytics and data science is a way of getting insights from data to solve business problems so business can grow. And so you understand that, that way that the entire cycle and it goes over and over again. As you are more successful, you do more business, you generate more data, you mine it, you get more insights, you feed that back into the business, business grows further. So you can use data and data analytics to actually grow the business, but data driven insights, you know, not just intuition, which is valuable enough. So career opportunities lie in all those areas. And specific opportunities I can tell you is, for example, there are companies which, uh, when they're uh, pricing analysis, right, uh, how should I price my new product? Uh, for different segments, so that is a field of, of data, uh, big data analytics. Uh, just tracking, defending it, uh, all the websites, right? So making the website more effective. E-commerce companies, uh, they always are looking to improve their websites. So A/B testing and variety of uh, ways to improve the website. That is a field for data science. Uh, but every every company is generating data. They are saving data out of all the activities that's happening inside the company and the social media activity. So analyzing those data to generate sentiment for the company. For example, you're a company for a company for working for a company, let's say X. Now, are people positive about company or not so positive today? Um, or you can measure through tweets, Facebook. So that's, it's also called a listening platform. So I'm talking about some applications so you can manage those applications. Uh, web log analyzing, you know, is your website healthy? Is it running fine, smooth? Those kind of things are um, uh, things. Uh, big retailers, they also use the big data to understand each customer and build a profile. So those kind of tools are, um, careers are there to work with retailers and you know get to know your customer better. So from understanding customer, managing a supply chain, then visualizing data. How do you, how do you make the data visible in a way, unique way, so people can understand, aha, now I get it. So the smarter, you know, multicolor and multi-graphical method or, or some visualization you can make, those are under other skills. So if you are very tech, you can start at the sort of the, you know, tools end. You can, if you are more artistic, you can work at the more visualization end where you take some insights and make it easily accessible by executives who need to know things very quickly and, you know, it has to be very compelling. Or you can, um, there are lots of jobs in data preparation, as I said, uh, 80 to 90 percent of the work in data science is data preparation. That's a surprise. People think, oh, one third you analyze, one third you prepare the data, and one third you visualize. No, that's not true. That whole, the fun part is 10 to 20 percent. That's a lot of what we call dirty work or sort of a, you know, um, regular boring routine work is done in cleaning the data. So it is at best a semi-automated uh, task. Um, for cleaning up for null values and you know variety of um, uh, missing values and wrong values etc. So all of that data preparation would probably be a huge number of activities 
It's um, skilled, but not doesn't need a PhD. A lot of data scientist jobs doesn't need some kind of PhD or MBA or something like that. So from the lowest skill to the heavier skill, from the sort of the front end generation of data, um, how to capture the data and store it to the consumption of data, there are opportunities in every level. And you can be a tool expert, you can be an analysis expert, presentation expert, etc. Um, I don't have exactly the numbers of uh, you know percentage growth here, but there are companies like uh, I don't want to take names because if I call one, I won't be able to tell others. A lot of people from IITs and other places have set up these kind of companies in Bangalore, Chennai, and Gurgaon, and they are serving as backend BI or data analytics experts for companies in US and you know in various other places. I had industry experience in many many companies. Uh, including being a senior VP at IT services company. So I know we were always working with uh, some back-end companies for doing those kind of jobs. Uh, so data preparation jobs are going to be plenty. Um, even let's say I'm trying to design a marketing plan, right? I need to understand the total business segment. So companies can do some uh, uh, market sizing, etc., based on lots of data. All of that is data analytics. We're working with data, you know, and, uh, as I said, uh, we are, we, Datafication is happening, everything is being recorded, you know, like this video is being recorded, um, everything you do or say is being recorded. How do you make sense of the data? That's important. How do you get simple, effective uh, patterns? A good pattern is general, accurate, and simple. How do you get general, accurate, and simple patterns out of the data to help your boss or yourself or your business to become better? Well, those are the kind of uh, whole range of opportunities that we are available to you.